In this video, we'll take a look at the new client-side JavaScript events that are available in the version 10 grid component. Um, there are um, a large number of uh, events that you can fire, and to demonstrate the events, we'll choose a very simple example. You can see here we have a, a very simple um, a V10 AJAX grid, and our goal uh, is to put up a message to the user uh, when the user uh, has clicked uh, sort or does a query to indicate that uh, something is happening. So you can see here when I click say for example on first name to sort uh, what you should notice is um, a message showing up over here saying that uh, sorting is taking place uh, during the Ajax callback then done sorting appears and then stays there for a short time and then the message just disappears completely so let's just do that again you can see sorting done sorting and then the message goes away and uh, so uh, this was all done using um, the new um, client side uh, javascript events um, and uh, you can also see here if i go and do a search i'll type in say smith and then do a search it says uh, searching then done searching and in this case, we did not uh, choose to clear the message away. So let's go back to design mode and see how this was done. So the first thing that we did was we went to uh, search properties. And then let's go to the um, <coughs> above search part uh, freeform region and then uh, switch to source mode. And you'll see that we've put in a div that has an ID of message. Uh, a color of red and uh, um, we just put in a non-breaking space so that uh, um, so that we don't get any jumping around uh, on our uh, page when we um, set the value of this message and take the and take and set the value back to a null so uh, let's go ahead there and save that and now let's go to uh, properties and then scroll down to um, the JavaScript system events and open up the uh, the editor and you can see that there are a large number of um, events that have been defined so to make it easier to find the appropriate event uh, you can filter by just showing grid events search events and detailed view events you can also um, check this uh, checkbox over here and that'll show you only the events that have been defined. So right now we've only defined, we've defined four events right now. And you can also just filter by starting to type in a value and it'll find uh, all the uh, events that match your search string. So let's take a look now, for example, at the uh, can sort event. This event fires uh, when the user clicks on a uh, uh, title to sort and it happens before the callback is sent to the server. So uh, if this event were to return false, as it, as it describes over here, then the user would actually be prevented from sorting. But in this case, we don't want to prevent the user from sorting. We simply want to put up a message. So you can see here, we're basically getting a pointer to that message div uh, that we put uh, in the search part. And then we're setting the inner HTML to this um, HTML string over here, which is the message sorting and then the standard alpha 5 uh, weight icon, which is just this weight uh, uh, GIF file in the uh, CSS A5 system images uh, folder. Uh, the dollar sign is one of the functions in the alpha 5 JavaScript library. That's just a shortcut for the uh, get element by ID uh, built in uh, JavaScript function. So then basically um, after the uh, this event fires the callback is actually sent to the server and then uh, after the sort is completed on the server the after sort event fires and you can see here in the after sort event we uh, set the message uh, to done sorting and then we use the built-in JavaScript function set timeout which uh, waits for 1000 milliseconds that's one second and then after that one second is up it sets the um, contents of that uh, div just back to NBSP so that uh, in effect removes the message so similarly for the can search submit button we're going to uh, set the uh, message to say searching and then in the after search um, event, we uh, set the message to uh, done searching. So you can